From the most iconic comics, musicians, and actors of our time, to TikTok stars, to the first female Secretary of State, we've lost many famous faces so far in 2022. On August 5, 2022, Anne Heche was critically injured in a car crash in Los Angeles. Then on August 12th, she was declared legally dead from oxygen deprivation to the brain. The 53-year-old actor had been stable after being cut free from the wreckage, but on the way to the hospital, she slipped into a coma. Heche was known for starring in a variety of films over her 29-year career, including the 1998 remake of Psycho and the action comedy Six Days, Seven Nights. A rep for her family told TMZ, we have lost a bright light, a kind and most joyful soul, a loving mother, and a loyal friend. Anne will be deeply missed, but she lives on through her beautiful sons, her iconic body of work, and her passionate advocacy. Talk show host Ellen DeGeneres, a former partner of Heche's, paid her respects by tweeting, This is a sad day. I'm sending Anne's children, family, and friends all of my love. Grammy Award-winning singer and actress Olivia Newton-John, best known as the straight lace Sandy in the classic movie musical Grease, passed away on August 8th at the age of 73. She died peacefully, surrounded by her loved ones. Her husband, John Easterling, wrote on Facebook, Olivia has been a symbol of triumphs and hope for over 30 years, sharing her journey with breast cancer. Her healing inspiration and pioneering experience with plant medicine continues with the Olivia Newton-John Foundation Fund, dedicated to researching plant medicine and cancer. Her Grease co-star, John Travolta, also paid tribute. As he wrote on Instagram, My dearest Olivia, you made all of our lives so much better. Your impact was incredible. I love you so much. We will see you down the road, and we will all be together again. Yours from the first moment I saw you, and forever. You're Danny. You're John. Tell me about it, Stan. On May 26th, Ray Liotta passed away at the age of 67. At the time, he was filming a movie in the Dominican Republic. His career shot to superstardom when he played shoeless Joe Jackson in the 1989 baseball classic Field of Dreams, and then mobster Henry Hill in Goodfellas the following year. Throughout his career, Liotta played a wide range of characters, as he worked hard to avoid being typecast. His fiancée, J.C. Natolo, memorialized him on Instagram by writing, My life these past couple of years have been nothing but truly magical. Ray and I share a deep love that I will cherish in my heart forever. He was the most beautiful person inside and out that I've ever known, and even that is an understatement. On January 9th, Bob Saget was found dead in his Orlando, Florida hotel room at the age of 65, while in the midst of a stand-up tour. In a statement shared with The Hollywood Reporter, his family revealed, the authorities have determined that Bob passed away from head trauma. They have concluded that he accidentally hit the back of his head on something, thought nothing of it, and went to sleep. From playing America's favorite dad on Full House to his more adult-oriented stand-up comedy and everything in between, Saget made an indelible mark on the entertainment industry throughout his career, which spanned over three decades. Tributes flooded social media from fans and fellow celebrities, including his Full House daughters, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, who shared, Bob was the most loving, compassionate, and generous man. We are deeply saddened that he is no longer with us, but know that he will continue to be by our side to guide us as gracefully as he always has. Bob, honestly, has never had an unkind word for anybody, and uh, I love him, and I hope uh, everybody else does. On March 23, 2022, the nation mourned the loss of Madeleine Albright, the American diplomat who became the first woman to serve as United States Secretary of State. She passed away from cancer at the age of 84. Born in 1937 in Prague, in what was then Czechoslovakia, Albright arrived with her family in the United States in 1948. Among her many accomplishments, she was a notably strong-willed supporter of NATO intervention to stop the genocide in Kosovo. On April 27th, more than 1,400 people attended a service for Albright at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. The occasion was filled with cheers and laughter, with Albright's three daughters, Bill and Hillary Clinton, Barack and Michelle Obama, and President Joe Biden among those in attendance. On March 30th, Tom Parker of the British boy band The Wanted died at the age of 33. Back in 2020, he'd been diagnosed with a stage 4 brain tumor. With his wife Kelsey Hardwick by his side, he underwent treatment in Spain and was able to join his bandmates on the second leg of their UK comeback tour. But, unfortunately, his cancer had spread to other parts of his body. During the band's March 17th performance in Liverpool, two weeks before Parker's death, he needed to sit while on stage. After his passing, his wife wrote on Instagram, our hearts are broken. Tom was the center of our world, and we can't imagine life without his infectious smile and energetic presence. With Tom, it was like even the final moments were magical. That's the sort of person he was. 
Ivana Trump was so much more than a socialite. Donald Trump's wife from 1977 to 1992, she was also a champion skier, model, and businesswoman. On July 14th, she was found dead at the bottom of her New York City apartment stairs. The official cause of death was blunt impact injuries to her torso. She was 73. Soon after the news broke, her former president ex-husband took to his social media platform Truth Social and wrote, She was a wonderful, beautiful, and amazing woman who led a great and inspirational life and their three children released a joint statement that read, Our mother was an incredible woman, a force in business, a world-class athlete, a radiant beauty, and caring mother and friend. On January 6th, Hollywood mourned the loss of the legendary Sidney Poitier. He died at the age of 94 from a combination of cardiopulmonary failure, Alzheimer's dementia, and prostate cancer. Poitier starred in a number of groundbreaking films over the course of his career, including Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, In the Heat of the Night, and Lilies of the Field. For his performance in Lilies, he became the first black performer to win the Oscar for lead actor. Poitier's daughter, also named Sydney but with a Y, wrote an emotional tribute to honor her father on Instagram that read in part, there are no words for this, no real way to prepare for this, no prose beautiful enough, no speech eloquent enough to capture the essence of my dad. Comedian and actor Louis Anderson died at the age of 68 in Las Vegas, Nevada on January 21st. According to his manager, his cause of death was complications from diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Anderson's career spanned nearly four decades, which included memorable appearances in films like Coming to America and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Later in his career, he landed perhaps his most iconic role as Christine Baskets, mother to Zach Galifianakis' characters, on the FX series Baskets, which started airing in 2016 and won him an Emmy. As FX wrote in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter, we are so deeply saddened by the passing of our dear friend, Louis Anderson. He truly cared about his craft and was a true professional in every sense. Oh, I'm funny too. In 2011, the reality series Braxton Family Values debuted on WeTV. Audiences were introduced to the extended family of legendary singer Tony Braxton, including her four sisters Tracy, Tawanda, Trina, and Tamar. But sadly, on March 12th, the family suffered a devastating loss when Tracy died from esophageal cancer at the age of 50. Toni Braxton took to Facebook to share the news of her sister's death as she wrote, It is with the utmost regret that we inform you of the passing of our sister Tracy. Needless to say, she was a bright light, a wonderful daughter, an amazing sister, a loving mother, wife, grandmother, and a respected performer. We will miss her dearly. Tracy was known for her singing skills, as well as occasional acting appearances on stage and screen. In 2020, California teen Cooper Noriega started posting TikTok videos of himself lip-syncing to popular songs, hopping on the latest dance trends, and performing funny sketches. He managed to obtain 3.2 million TikTok followers within just two years. Sadly, his life was cut way too short when in June, he was found dead in a Burbank, California parking lot at the age of 19. His sister Parker took to her brother's Instagram page after his death, as she wrote, On behalf of our family, we want to thank you all for the kind words of our little Coop. His passing is an absolute tragedy to our family and loved ones. As of August 2022, the cause of Noriega's death remains undetermined. Just days before his passing, he announced that he'd started a Discord server dedicated to discussing mental health and revealed that he'd been dealing with addiction since he was just nine years old. On January 20th, the world said goodbye to a musical legend. 74-year-old Meatloaf, whose real name was Marvin Lee Day, died after reportedly falling ill with COVID-19. His family took to Facebook to remember him, writing, Our hearts are broken to announce that the incomparable Meatloaf passed away tonight. Surrounded by his wife Deborah, daughters Pearl and Amanda, and close friends, we truly appreciate all of the love and support as we move through this time of grief and losing such an inspiring artist and beautiful man. Over the course of his career, Meatloaf sold millions of records worldwide, which included iconic songs like Paradise by the Dashboard Light and I Do Anything for Love. He also had a notable acting career in films like The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Fight Club, and Tenacious D in The Pick of Destiny. His name is Robert Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. The music world let out a tragic collective sigh when news broke that longtime Foo Fighters drummer Taylor Hawkins passed away on March 25th at the age of 50. Hawkins was found unresponsive in his hotel room in Bogota, Colombia, where the band was scheduled to play. After a toxicology report, it was revealed that he had a variety of substances in his system, including marijuana, antidepressants, and opioids. A few months after his death, Hawkins' wife Allison shared a statement on Instagram on behalf of herself and their three kids. As she wrote, 
Taylor's endearing spirit and deep love of music will live on forever through the collaborations he so enjoyed having with other musicians and the catalog of songs he contributed to and created. It is now up to all of us who loved him most to honor Taylor's legacy and the music he gave us. On July 6th, James Caan passed away from a heart attack and coronary artery disease at the age of 82. The actor was best known for his performance as the lovable hothead Sonny Corleone in the Godfather films. His career on the silver screen spanned over 58 years, with other memorable credits including the likes of Misery, Brian's Song, and Elf. When his family announced his death on Twitter, they also wrote, the family appreciates the outpouring of love and heartfelt condolences and asks that you continue to respect their privacy during this difficult time. That post was punctuated with Khan's signature social media phrase, as he was known for concluding his tweets by declaring, end of tweet. Al Pacino also honored his Godfather co-star in a statement by recalling, Jimmy was my fictional brother and my lifelong friend. It's hard to believe that he won't be in the world anymore because he was so alive and daring. A great actor, a brilliant director, and my dear friend. I'm gonna miss him. Comedian Gilbert Gottfried made quite the impression over the course of his decades-long career. He was an iconic stand-up comic, but his most memorable role might just be the voice of the macaw Iago in Aladdin. He passed away on April 12th at the age of 67. He'd reportedly been suffering from a genetic muscle disorder called type 2 myotonic dystrophy. As his family memorialized him on Twitter, in addition to being the most iconic voice in comedy, Gilbert was a wonderful husband, brother, friend, and father to his two young children. Although today is a sad day for all of us, keep laughing as loud as possible in Gilbert's honor. Gottfried started his stand-up career in New York City when he was only 15 years old, before briefly joining the cast of Saturday Night Live in 1980. Jon Stewart was one of the many celebrities who honored his colleague on social media, as he tweeted, Opening for Gilbert Gottfried at Caroline's in Princeton Catch was one of the great thrills of my early stand-up life. He could leave you gasping for breath, just indescribably unusually hilarious. The Aristocrats! Actress Josara Hinaro died in April 2022 from cancer at the age of 48. Her husband Matt announced her death on her Facebook page with a lengthy tribute that read in part, Josara was an amazing wife, mother, artist, and friend. She had the most beautiful, kind soul and wouldn't take no for an answer. Gennaro is best known for playing Ray on the NBC soap opera Passions from 2002 through 2007. Her career also included stints on other TV shows like ER and Judging Amy, as well as a starring role on the Hulu drama series East Los High. On top of all that, she showed up in some McDonald's commercials, and her big screen work included the 2005 horror film The Devil's Rejects. After news spread about Josara's death, Devil's Rejects director Rob Zombie took to Twitter to say, so sad to hear about the passing of Josara. She was terrific in The Devil's Rejects as Maria the Maid of the Khaki Palms Motel. Josara later joined us to provide some voice work on Three From Hell. The world was shocked when country music legend Naomi Judd, one half of the mother-daughter duo The Judds, died on April 30th at the age of 76. Her daughters Ashley and Winona took to Instagram to confirm the tragic news as they wrote, We lost our beautiful mother to the disease of mental illness. We are shattered. We are navigating profound grief and know that as we loved her, she was loved by her public. The exact cause of death wasn't initially provided, but then on May 12th, Ashley revealed during an interview with Diane Sawyer on Good Morning America that her mother had taken her own life. She also explained, My mother obviously was suffering, and as such, her days up until that moment were hurtful to her. Her brain hurt. It, it physically hurt. Throughout the Judd's trailblazing music career, they had 14 number one hits, in addition to several industry accolades, including winning five Grammys, nine Country Music Association Awards, and seven Academy of Country Music Awards. Celebrities and musicians worldwide took to social media to pay tribute to Naomi. She died just one day before she and Winona were set to be included into the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. In 2019, a then 28-year-old Chesley Crist made history when she became the oldest woman to be crowned Miss USA. This also marked the first time that black women simultaneously held the three major pageant titles of Miss America, Miss USA, and Miss Teen USA. Crist would go on to become a New York correspondent with Extra as she continued to fight for social and criminal justice reform as a civil litigation attorney. Alas, everything would soon come crashing down. In 2022, fans were stunned to learn that she'd taken her own life on January 30th. She'd reportedly jumped from her Manhattan apartment building and was pronounced dead at the scene. Among the outpouring of tributes that followed, the Miss USA organization tweeted, She was one of the brightest, warmest, and most kind people we have ever had the privilege of knowing. Our entire community mourns her loss, and our thoughts and prayers are with her family right now. 
A few days after Chris's death, her mother confirmed that she'd been privately struggling with depression and had hidden it from everyone. She said, Mom, you did everything right and nothing wrong, and that was the peace and closure I needed. On January 16th, Jordan Cashmeyer, who gained fame on the MTV reality series 16 and Pregnant in 2014, died at the age of 26. Cashmeyer had appeared on the show with her boyfriend Derek Taylor, with the two of them becoming homeless after her parents kicked her out due to her pregnancy. They eventually called it quits as a couple, and Derek's mother had been given temporary custody of their daughter. According to the Maryland Department of Health Office of Chief Medical Examiner, Cashmeyer's cause of death was fentanyl and cocaine intoxication. Over the years, she'd reportedly gone to rehab for substance abuse on several occasions. In a statement sent to USA Today, Cashmeyer's rep Howard Wood remarked, this has been a very sad couple of days. I'm honored to have been able to know and work with Jordan for many years and wish life would have been kinder to her. I hope she is in a better place. Other celebrities who have sadly passed away this year include Marnie Schulenberg, Lindsay Perlman, John Stahl, Estelle Harris, Andy Fletcher, Jane Marshuski, Jack Knight, Mary Mara, Ray Allen, Lee Lawson, Lenny Von Dolan, Mitchell Ryan, June Brown, Brad Johnson, Betty Davis, Liz Sheridan, Shirley Spork, Joanna Barnes.